Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here. Today we're making sword pendants and earrings out of wire and paper clips. We are using 20 gauge wire, I have paper clips, and my tools. So we're going to start with a paper clip. These are standard size paper clips that open up to three and three quarter inches long. We're just going to go slowly with our flat pliers and open them up to make a straight piece of wire. This is equivalent to about 20 gauges of wire. So you can use wire if you don't have paper clips. So straighten it out. And then we are going to measure halfway and we're going to take our flat pliers and give it a sharp bend at the halfway point. So we're just going to press it in a little bit, push the wires together and give it a little squeeze with the flat pliers. Then we're going to gently open it up so we don't snap it, but we want a nice sharp bend at the end and we're going to bend it in at about a quarter inch. Flip it around and do the same on the other side, a little sharp bend to make the point and curve it around with your thumb. So press it down a little bit and then we're going to get a second paper clip and we're going to, with our round pliers, bend it at the halfway point so it's a little round at the top and then get our flat pliers and bend it straight out. I'm using the Zeron tweezer nose pliers. We'll give it a sharp little bend so it's bent out. And then we're going to get the first piece and bend the wires at the length of the sword and then hook it onto the handle. So now we have to hold it in place, hold it firmly, and bend the ends around on either side of the handle. So just take those ends. It's easier with the pliers, so grab that end with the flat pliers and bring it right around. And you'll be able to wind it around two or three times. We want to make it even on both sides, so just keep flipping it back and forth and curve it around as many times as you like. The paper clips are quite stiff, but they make a nice solid piece. Just keep going around, pinch it in. And then you can clip those ends. Don't use your best cutters for these because paper clips are made of stainless steel wire and they're very stiff. So now you could pull those coils in together, pinch them in, do any little adjustments that you need so it looks nice and clean and even. So there we have the base part and then we are going to curve out the handle to make it look a little more fancy. So getting our larger round pliers, we are going to make a couple of little loops on either side. You can measure them to make sure they're at the same distance. Bring the loops around, adjust them as you need. And then we can get our smaller round nose pliers to make a little loop in the middle there. It's like a little mini kind of spiral. You can make this part as fancy as you like. If you're using wire, you can have it longer and make more ornate spirals. You can make them larger if you like. This is what we can do with the paper clips, being the length that they are. Now, if you want to cut it this way, you just hold them with the flat pliers and bend it back and forth, and the wire will actually snap. So if you want to save your good cutters, this is an alternative on how you can cut the wire without cutters. Just take that end and bend it back and forth. You do need a long end to be able to do this with and adjust those 
little spirals in a little bit make any other adjustments so there you have the sword and you could put some earring hooks on them if you like so now we're using 20 gauge artistic wire in the gold color take about four to five inches and bend it at the halfway point with the flat pliers pinch it right in on a nice sharp bend and bring the wire straight up adjust it pinch it a little bit and you can make it as long as you like we're just going to take that wire and bend it to either side so bend it straight out at a right angle and then we're going to clip those ends you could clip them to about three quarters of an inch depends on how big you want to make the sides and the loops and then we're going to take the round pliers and just make a simple loop we're not going to do a spiral for these ones but you can do the spiral if you want so take the round pliers hold the end and bring it around into a loop so now we have our base and from there we'll take another wire 20 gauge could be about six inches six or eight inches depending on how big you want to make your sword hold the end and twist now the key to making an even twist is to hold the wires out at an even angle I'm just going to twist it three or four times and then take the round pliers and bend the wire back same on the other wire just bend those wires back so that's the handle and then we're going to hook it onto the sword and bring those ends around flip it over as usual I cut my wires a little long but better too long than too short and just twist it around three or four times depending on how many coils you want so you can keep flipping it back and forth and adding another twist if you want depends on how much wire you have how much space you have keep adjusting it as you go decide to do another little round there as long as it's even on both sides bring it up and then you're going to clip those ends and clip the other end there get our flat pliers to pinch in those pokey ends pinch in the other little pokey end do any adjustments that you need and there is the sword and if you like you can add some earring hooks to make sword earrings so thanks so much for watching the video give it a big thumbs up if you liked it be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos and if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry be sure to join the wire makers club on facebook and if you'd like to check out my work on etsy my husband and i specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.